Good morning and welcome to another Monday morning art talk. So today's art talk is about that we know nothing. We know nothing. And why I say that is because we know nothing. We don't know what is going to happen at any given time on any different project we're involved in. And this is one of those factors that I think personally stops a lot of people from trying to even try something because of their um, assumption of what uh, the result's going to end up being that knowing that we have no concept of it. no, And, and that's how you should go into things. Again, we, we didn't know how to uh, ride bikes. We didn't know how to walk. We didn't know how to, um, you know, do homework at one point. There's so many things that we didn't know how to do when we got involved in our lives and started our lives. And that's the same thing with any project. And that's what the heart of this conversation is about is the projects that are spinning in your head that you want to do that you know nothing about at this point. Ben, it's scary. You don't know how to start a business. You don't know what's required of that. How do I set up my bank account? How do I register to get my permits? How do I get my licenses? How do I just set up and, and get my seller's permit or, or anything else that may happen? You don't know how to do that yet. But the reality is and that we're living in this age where we can find anything. And so once you have a game plan, and that's the most important part of all of this, is you have to have a game plan. You have to strategize. You have to know what it is that you're even just trying to accomplish uh, in anything. You can put that concept and phrase with anything that you're trying to start. You're trying to win a war. You're trying to you, you start it again, you, your own business. You're trying to um, have some sort of courtship with someone, try to entice someone because you, you like them and you, you're trying to, you know, God, I want to marry that person. Whatever it may be, we don't know what it's going to be, but we have to strategize. And that's first the most important thing. And that's where a business plan comes in. You have to have the business plan. And the business plan is simply writing out your goals. Why are you even trying to start your own, make your own book? Why are you even trying to start setting up at the uh, conventions? What are you even trying to sell? What is it that you're even going to school for? What is that outcome that you envision within your mind that you even want to achieve and attain at the end of the day? And by writing out your business plan, this is what you're just trying to achieve because once you have that in writing and you understand what that is, now it's up to you to start discovering the answers and figuring that out. And we live in this age of the internet and it's the greatest thing on earth. You want to set up your own business? Simply type in, in Google, how do I set up my own business? Boom, figure it out. It's going to tell you exactly what you need to do. I want to print books, but I'm not sure how to do it. Boom, you're going to get all these people's opinions and everything else. I want to create my own Kickstarter campaign. Boom, you get all this information, you know, questions answered, everything that you need, you know, not to say that, you know, where, where I can honestly say that friends, relationships are play a huge part into this is what you need to do and what you will do in life is you're going to start meeting people throughout life that are going to come across your path. And, you know, people know things and you may just be having this uh, question, like, for instance, I wanted just to figure out an electrical thing about my, my home studio that I have and I needed this air conditioning unit, but I'm running this other electrical. And there I was at some event and a, and a, and a well, not even an event, just a backyard party. And you just start talking to people and all of a sudden, hey, so what do you do? I'm an electrician. Oh, no kidding. You're an electrician? Wow, I got this electrician question that I need to ask. I'm trying to find how I can get more power into my studio. But, 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 oh man, that's great. So you find the answers just from random questions. You contact friends, relationships you have. Hey, I've seen you've done a Kickstarter campaign. Um, do you have any advice? Do you have any input? Bum, 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 bum. Oh man, how helpful is that? How grateful am I that I even asked? And, and that's why it comes down to asking the questions to figure these things out. When I did my very first app, my Posebook app, 
I, had, I, I, I may have even said this in a video before, so I hope I'm not boring you, but what, I, I didn't know how to um, d do lighting or, 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 you know, I'm taking my own pictures. So I went on the internet and found out how to do three-point lighting and I discovered how to do that. I didn't know how, there's so many things that I don't know, that I've never known how to do. But you, but, but you just simply ask. You're either asking a friend of yours, a colleague, someone you know, someone else who's already done it. Research them. Maybe it's a cartoonist. Maybe it's an illustrator. Maybe it's a whoever. They're a painter. Whatever they do and you know of them. And now you can get in contact with these people and you can, you can ask them questions and they're going to tell you. Otherwise, everyone on their YouTube channels like you guys are watching here. People are making videos about stuff. So anytime my fridge, my my freaking the Mr. The Steven Silver here, who is an artist who has nothing to do with fixing anything. Don't ask me to fix your house in any way, shape, or form. But my my icebreaker broke, and I had a <laughs> I had an icebreaker. Uh, uh, a guy uh, come out, electrician guy who fix fridge come out because something was broken and he came and he looked at it i gotta do this and that it's gonna be six hundred dollars like damn six hundred dollars just to fix the ice maker you know but i'm asking him questions i'm saying so what is it well you need to replace the ice maker and there's this laser thing and there's all this other stuff so okay well thank you for your time let me uh, talk to my wife about it so then I uh, go on the internet and I find out, first of all, what what fridge I even have and what the ice maker even is. Oh, look, looks like I, they sell the separate part. So then I discover that. Then I go on YouTube and I type in how to fix an ice maker for this thing. And lo and behold, there's the video. Shows me how to fix it. So I ordered the part for like $50 and I put it in myself. I fixed an ice machine. That's amazing. I was so surprised and so shocked that I could even do such a thing. But I didn't know, I don't, I, the five minutes before that, I didn't know how to do it. But uh, you learn how to do these things. I didn't know how to self-publish. And I researched it. I didn't know how to draw caricatures. And I researched it. And I, and I studied. And I practiced. And I mean, everything in my life. And you guys can say the same. You don't know how to do it. But the answers are there if you have the question to ask. And that's the most important thing. Know what it is that you're even seeking. When you discover what it is that you're even seeking, know that it is what you even want. And from there, you can start to make it a reality and build upon that. That's the same thing with designing, with drawing. I just had a conversation, a great lunch with a friend of mine. We were discussing, same thing with art. It's like, don't, you may have that idea in your mind that you want to create this guy and he's riding a camel and is you know and blah 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 whatever he is and you you just draw it out first draw out the emotion draw out the feeling get it done thumbnail it out and then gather the research of the camel and then gather the research of the cowboy guy that you wanted riding the camel and then gather the research of the background element that you are seeking but it starts with the ideas and that's part of also what I just teach and things that I'm going to be covering in my art book that I'm putting out here is this sort of method of understanding the story and know the idea and that's what it comes down what's the idea what's the story what are you trying to say and that's what everything in life begins with is the story the idea what are you trying to accomplish so ask yourself that and once you have that we don't know anything until we start to research it and discover it. So that's it. Thanks again. I wish you guys all the best. Have a good one and make it a great week. Take care. Hello, this is Steven and I just wanted to tell you about this cool thing that I'm doing right now through my website at silvertunes.com. It's a Skype mentorship. 
in a sense, what I want to do is just talk to you, meet you, tell me about things that are happening in your life, see if there's anything that I could do to help you. I can look over your artwork, do your portfolio, and just maybe try to push you in the right direction that you want to take your life and your journey, all right? So you can go to silvertunes.com, go to classes, click on mentorship, and you can learn all about it. We can try to arrange a time, set up a date. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. Um, and I just wanted to make it just very affordable just to open it up because I love doing this. I love meeting people from all over the planet. It's a really cool thing. And uh, with this technology, why not? So that's it. Thanks. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> go. <laughs> go back. Go back. Go back. Great. Go back. Go back. Yeah. <laughs>